Another basic analysis that you can use for your Likert scale data is by using Spearman rank correlation. The question is how to perform this correlation in SPSS and also how to make this analysis stand out in your research paper. I will show you step by step in this video. Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, often denoted by the symbol of rho, is a statistical measure of the strength and direction of association between two ranked or ordinal variables. It assesses the degree to which the relationship between the variables can be described by a monotonic function, meaning that as one variable increases, the other consistently increases. If one variable decreases, the other variables also decreases. Spearman's rank correlation coefficient is particularly useful when the data are ordinal or when the relationship between variables is nonlinear. It's also robust to the outliers and doesn't assume that variables are normally distributed. Therefore, it's commonly used in situations where Pearson's correlation coefficient might not be appropriate. The correlation coefficient values range for minus 1 to 1. If rho equals to 1, it indicates a perfect positive monotonic relationship. And if rho equals to minus 1, it indicates a perfect negative monotonic relationship. If rho equals to 0, it indicates no monotonic relationship between the variables. To classify the strength of the correlation coefficient, you can see this table. 0 to 0 0.19, it means very weak correlation. 0 0.2 to 0 0.39, it means weak correlation. 0 0.4 to 0 0.59, it means quite strong correlation. 0 0.6 to 0 0.79, it means strong correlation. And 0 0.8 to 1, it means very strong correlations. Sometimes, several assumptions are often wrong when using correlation analysis. Below, I read a reconfirmation so that we understand that the correlation coefficient better, especially the Spearman ranks correlation. First, Correlation cannot explain causation relationships. Correlation analysis is only able to define and measure the relationship between variables, but cannot conclude the causation relationship or mutual influence between the variables. Two, a negative correlation doesn't mean there is no correlation. Sometimes, we think that a negative correlation means that there is no relationship at all between variables. A negative correlation means that there is an inverse relationship between these variables. It means that if one variable goes down, the other variables also goes down too. 3. The two variables analyzed have the same relationship. If we get the correlation value between variables A and B, then this also applies vice versa. This correlation value also applies to the relationship between variables B and A. And now, let's do the exercise. Let's move to the SPSS software. In this worksheet, I have 10 variables that contains 100 cases. This is data about uh, the satisfaction level of a product. And at the variable view, you see the variable here. The taste, the texture, smell, packaging, price, crunchiness, consistency, and comparisons are Likert scale variables or ordinal scale variables. We'll try to figure out the Spearman rank correlation of these variables in SPSS. To do this, go to Analyze, Correlate, and then select Bivariate. After that, you'll see a dialog box on your screen, and then select all variables that we want to analyze. Here, let me select the taste, texture, and the all Likert scale variable. <laughs> Click the arrow button to move it to the variables box and the correlation coefficients options here because we are using the Likert scale variables and check the Pearson and then check the Spearman option and for the test of significance I prefer to use the two tail test and for the option for flex significant correlations I just uncheck it because it's uncomfortable to see flag in the output table and at the options, you can see the missing values treatment here. I'll just leave it by default. You can also set the style output, but I just leave it and then click OK. Great. At the output window, you can see the correlation table that is generated by SPSS from the all variables that we input to be analyzed in Spearman's ranks correlation analysis. You can see that the correlation coefficient between the taste and texture is negative 0.0134. It means 
the relationship between the taste and texture variables is negative. If the score of the taste variable goes up, the score of the texture variable goes down. This correlation coefficient describes a very weak correlation between the texture and taste variable. You can also check the correlation coefficient one by one and interpret it based on the classification of the output of the correlation analysis. And next, let me show you how to beautify these visualizations so it gives you a better appearance in your research. First, let's move this output into Microsoft Excel. Right click here and then select copy. After that, open your Microsoft Excel software like this and select the cell where you want to paste the correlation table. Right click and then select the paste options here let me select the match destination formatting option click it and after that let's tidy up the unnecessary column by deleting them like this let's select the whole columns that we don't need to display do this by pressing control button and click it also hold it and then right click and select delete and after that let's also select this correlation column we don't need this after that we will classify the output of the coefficient correlation by using the conditional formatting feature and it will highlight the color of the coefficient correlations by a specific color so we can give a better visualization to our reader so let's select the range like this and then select conditional formatting and after then select the highlight cell rules after that click the more rules options like this after that click the format all cells based on their values and at the bottom you see the options here at the format style field i prefer to use the three color scale because we can set the colors into three options and at the minimum field let's set it to the lowest value at the midpoint, let's make it at the percentile of the 50% of the data and the maximum, let's put it for the highest value. Great, you can also customize it by your own needs and I'll change the highest color to the blue because I prefer blue for the higher value and then click OK. It means that the lowest value will change the correlation coefficient tends to red and for the highest value the color of the cells will change tends to yellow and blue click ok and you can see like this notice that the color of almost all our correlation coefficient turns to yellow and red it means that we only have small correlation values here the cells that have a negative correlation value change to orange while those with a value close to zero change into yellow you can see the blue color here for one correlation coefficient. It means that it has exact positive correlation, of course, because we correlate it with the same variables and it really has no interpretation. And next, let's delete this column because we only need uh, one coefficient correlation to display like this to make it tidier. You can adjust the cell size. And also, you can change the table format here. Go to insert and then select table. Let's convert this range into a table. Click OK. And then at the table design option that appear at the top menu, you can change the format of the color. Let's select the color that we want. I prefer to use the blue color like this. And then let's uncheck the banded rows option. And after that, let's reduce the decimal numbers to two digits. Sorry. Okay. And then remove another unnecessary elements that appear like this. Let's select the column here and then change the name into correlation. And finally, let's uncheck the filter button again. And now your Correlation table is ready to serve in your research and it's much prettier to see, it's comfortable to see, and also it's easier to interpret. 
that's it see you in the next video